called the Brady the Brady Six is a um, DVD that came out. Um, I don't. Know. I mean, a documentary that came. Out. I think it was like two thousand nine, probably or eight. But it was just showing like the six quarterbacks that kept picked before Brady. It was just motivational, basically. Brady basically said he was on a um, he was on a zero nine. His high school was on eight, and he was the second string quarterback. He was just saying that's how bad. That's how crazy thing. How he go from that a second string quarterback on a team that didn't even win a game. And he said he ended up playing his sophomore year because of the, um, the other quarterback that was there just quit. He just quit and said he ain't playing football anymore. So basically, Brady started those three years, and they didn't get recruited by many teams. He went to Michigan, and then they already had seven quarterbacks on the roster, including him, like Brian Greasy and um, all of them guys. And then his second year, I think uh, they had four quarterbacks. I'm trying to think. I can't remember, but I watched it plenty of times. I just can't remember right now, but... The more that was the story, but he basically split time with Drew Henson his last day last year, and then um, it was just crazy how Brady, like where he came from, man. And then they was talking about how he uh, they got passed up by the 49ers. Basically, Brady had a picture with Brady when he was like three or four. He went to the um, Joe Montana 49ers game, and his dad was like a ticket holder for like 20 years at that time, and they um. They was disappointed that Brady didn't get picked there. Because it was supposed to be – because, remember, Steve Young had just retired. Um, Joe Montana just made the Hall of Fame. So, basically, it was some hard shoes to fill. But Brady would have did it. But they um, passed up on him. And then it was six quarterbacks in there, and they all was, like, really happy for um, for Brady. I think Camarazzi the only one that didn't really – he declined to be interviewed or something. But T. Martin was on there. Uh, Spurgeon win. Mark Bolger. Chad Pennington. Uh, Chad Pennington is four. I already just said uh, it was Chad Pennington. Yeah, T. Martin, Chad Pennington. Those are the two best guys. They both uh, was pretty good. Oh yeah, Mark. Uh, what's his name? Redman, the quarterback. Bulger and uh, Spurgeon win. And then the other guy was McCarthy. The only one I did an interview. So five out of six was on there talking. Um, let's see. And then when Brady got to the Patriots, he got picked in the sixth round. And then they had four quarterbacks. Um, Bill Belichick said it, was, it is basically a wasted roster spot, basically. Like, you don't need to keep four quarterbacks, but they kept him because of his potential and stuff. And then um, I think the next year he came uh, 2001. He got drafted in 2000. He didn't play really in 2001. He got drafted by the um, – I mean, he got uh, he ended up being a second string quarterback because he beat out uh, I think his name Matt Hewart, some something like that Hewart or something, and then Drew Blissel, um, Bill Belichick said Bill Blissel, I mean uh, Tom Brady actually outplayed um, Drew Blissel in the preseason, but they said that his inexperience was the concern. Blissel was a pretty good quarterback. I think he threw fifty two thousand yards or something like that, and in, in on um, a nine passing error too. So Blissel was a good quarterback, man, but um, he got injured. And then Brady took over from there in 2001. He went to the Super Bowl his first year, won it. And then um, 2002, they made the playoffs in 03 and 04. They won uh, back-to-back. So he had three Super Bowls by the age of, like, 27. But he got started late because he was a fifth-year senior in Michigan. So but that was good. I need to go check it out, man. I'll put the link down there, the Brady Six. I'm probably going to watch it again today, honestly. But that's it.